One night while robbing graves, the cadaver came alive. I whacked him with my spade, then twenty more arrived. With cracking, peeling skin, and nose all caked with phlegm. They killed me, and by morning, I was one of them. Oh, walking dead, walking dead, zombies all the way. Always will come after you, no matter what you say. Ah! Walking dead, walking dead, your soul you cannot save. Oh, what Fun it is to writhe in a one corpse open grave. Oh, what fun it is to writhe in a one corpse open grave. Merry freaking Christmas. Oh, it must have been naughty. Naughty. Not here, my children, because Krampus is bringing us coal for our stockings and those switches that they spank you with, cause OMG, they're doing the walking dead again for the sixth third year in a row, six years of walking dead, holy moly, guacamole. <laughs> It's got me so rattled that I haven't even doing the right accent anymore. What the hell is this? I seem to be channeling the late Professor Otis T. Wren or something. Back to Jimmy. Back to Jimmy. Here I am. <laughs> Sorry about that. This is Dr. Jimmy. Back from the dead. Sorry. This is my reaction video. My reaction video to the recently announced news of the third haunted house for Halloween Horror Nights 26. The Walking Dead. Yes, for the fifth year in a row, we're getting, the fifth consecutive year, we're getting a Walking Dead house. It's going to be in either Soundstage 24A or 24B. This is pretty easy to figure out because there's permits, you see, for both of those sound stages. The only sound stage has been split down the middle to use for two houses according to the permits which are readily available to anyone to look at them. And Mike has said in his Twitters that it will be sharing a soundstage with an as yet unannounced haunted house, an original. Now, he hasn't, there's only one that hasn't been announced. Well, had, none of them have been announced, but there's two that he's talking about specifically. He's mentioned one in soundstage, oh no, in tent one, in tent number one, cobweb, and shown all sorts of interesting pictures for whatever that is. Interesting, very mysterious. And he's talked about another house which he's used the word requel for, and whatever the requel is, a lot of us have been speculating about something, oh, I don't know, rootin' tootin', but <laughs> we don't know what that is exactly, but there's some guesses out there. So the third one is probably the one that's neither of those. I know some people are thinking it's that requel house that, that they're expecting yeah, <coughs> to be in Soundstage 24 with Walking Dead. But you know it might be a really good place for that third completely unknown, unannounced house. I think that it might be a very good location and chances are that it might be a rather spectacular house too but we'll have to wait and see. At any rate, I have some friends with me. Uh, this is uh, Sheriff Rick Grimes, back when he still dressed like a sheriff. And, 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 uh, and this is Daryl Dixon, with his little crossbow. And even he's a little cross. Yeah. And then over here is the lovely Michonne. Uh, lovely Michonne, all quite nice. These were the first Funko Pops I ever got. Way back, I think, in 20... 12 or 2013 when they were doing, I think 2013, the second year they had Walking Dead and the year they put them all over the damn park, but holy moly, so we've got Walking Dead happening for the fifth year in a row, I've already got three little pops, I'll have to get some more then so to commemorate the house, to have all the little Walking Dead figures, that'll be fun, something to do with that, 
and uh, this is not the video where I make the cocktail for the house because I only just heard about it today haven't figured it out and you have to realize I've been doing house cocktails since 2011 and that means that in 2012 2013 2014 and 2015 all four all four of those years I came up with a different cocktail every darn year for that year's Walking Dead houses. They're on my Facebook somewhere. I've done four cocktails for The Walking Dead already. So I'm supposed to make up a fifth cocktail that's not the same as those other four. What the hell will that be? I've been thinking of getting like a pitcher or a bucket or one of those big jars and pouring those other four cocktails in and then pouring vodka to fill it in and then stirring the big thing up and then, you know, smashing it over my head and die because that's what it would be that's what would be faster than drinking it because then you'd die if you drank it uh, I don't know what I would do for the fourth the fifth cocktail I'm not quite sure yet I'll figure something out eventually and then I'll do my video for my fifth in a row walking dead house cocktail and how I can make that different I understand all six seasons will be represented in this house so you have season one, you know, full of Atlanta, big tank, and, uh, and and Rick is dressed like a sheriff. If we even see him in the house, because we haven't seen any of those characters in the house at all. They haven't been allowed to use the characters all these years. So bloody hell, just zombies. Uh, season two, of course, the farm in Woodbury. And then there's uh, oh, Terminus. And then we have the season with... Uh, with uh, Alexandria and all that and the cops and, and now of course we have the dude with his baseball bat Negan and I've been hearing well I haven't hearing I read it a man named Charles Gray wrote it on the website it says you'll hear you might hear the whistling in the woods near the end you know I can't do that whistling I make a terrible savior I can't do it at all mouth is all messed up. You know that whistle tone, that double whistle tone, uh, where everyone's whistling and whistling and it's like, oh dear, and then of course smack in the head, all of that. So, this is not the video where I come up with a cocktail. This is my reaction video. So, I suppose I should react to learning The Walking Dead is coming back for a maze. And I'm an optimistic guy, it'll probably be an awesome house you never know. There have been some really good Walking Dead mazes in the past. The first one, the third one, those are both pretty good. There's been some more sucky ones. The fourth one, not too good. It was like literally beating a dead horse or eating a dead horse or something. This last, I hope last, fifth Walking Dead maze, ooh. But, you know, they have to up their ante because if people go to the other coast and see the permanent Walking Dead attraction, over in Hollywood and that's going to be pretty awesome because it's you know something to do year-round so they can throw all kinds of budget into that alone you know and special effects and animatronics all kinds of shit compare that to what we're doing here this year you know they don't want it to look bad by comparison they really have to make it an awesome house so they can't compare with what's going on in Hollywood because you know there's people who are bi-coastal yeah I'm not yet I have to get uh, the fundage. If I if I ever won a lottery, I'd be going all four Horror Nights events every year. Go to Japan and Singapore, Hollywood, Orlando. Yeah. <laughs> but I don't have an actual TARDIS, so I can't actually do that. But as I was saying, I really should give my heartfelt reaction, and I don't mean anything really bad by this. I don't want to, to come off as a negative person, but I should give my heartfelt reaction to the news today that there would be yet another Walking Dead house this year. <clears throat> that, that was my reaction. All right. That being said, oh yeah. Cool Phantom of the Opera t-shirt. Really cool. Like it. <laughs> that's, that's today's shirt. Uh, maybe a bit later I'll do another video on Halloween Horror Nights 23. Talk about the houses that year. There was the first Walking Dead house that year, but not 23, 22. Yeah, 22. 
uh, 22 from 2012, right? Uh, I'm, I'm going to do my third video for 2012 uh, for Halloween Horror Nights 22, and that will be uh, starting with Dead End and Gothic and all of those houses that year, uh, Silent Hill and uh, and uh, uh, the first ever Walking Dead house that year, not to mention uh, Penn and Teller and Alice Cooper and uh, the Universal Classic Monsters in, uh, in the House of Horrors. All those houses, I'll be talking about those later when I do my history video, part three, uh, storing the haunted houses for Halloween Horror Nights 22. I might get to that today. Maybe I'll figure out the cocktail for this new Walking Dead house. Mm. God help us all. Uh, maybe I'll do that. Or maybe I won't get a chance to make another video today and you have to wait till later, maybe tomorrow, or maybe Sunday, depending on whether or not I'm still alive. <laughs> Whatever the case may be. But uh, that's, uh, that's where we are now. And I uh, might as well sign off because I've already sung a silly song and screamed my guts out. So that's about it. Have fun, fellas, and uh, look out for Nagan and the wolves and all those bad people. And enjoy your time. Oh, yeah. Mm. How many walkers have you killed? How many humans have you killed? And why? And with that, uh, we'll, we'll call it a day. See you next time.